love how people who walk the streets are always upset when someone like in a car does something. They always think like they're right. I'm like, no, you're not right, man. It's Friday. How, it's how was your day so far? Uh, my day was good, pretty chill. I woke up thinking about what I want to write about, which was around how to scale by building the infrastructure first instead of trying to learn every single skill set that you need to know before you actually scale a business. And uh, after that, I had a call with clients. Well, before that, I went and got a bagel. You need a bagel. <laughs> and uh, when I picked up my uncle, was listening to an audiobook uh, calling Buy Back My Time, I think, by Dan Martell. Right now, I'm moving soon, right? I'm moving out of this apartment, moving into a penthouse, and I need new furniture. I'm not going to bring any furniture from here. So I have my assistant who's uh, going at stores and looking up a few things. So we're trying to find this cloud couch, right? So there was this cloud couch that Nigel Houston, I don't know if you guys know him, the skateboarder. but we couldn't really find it. And it takes like two months to deliver. And I don't, I'm not trying to wait seven, two months to, to actually be able to sit on the couch. Kings don't sleep on Queens, you know? <laughs> so we're just gonna go to the gym and you guys can just enjoy this gym session. So Serge, so out of all the books, like what did you pick up uh, Dan Sullivan? I picked up the book because Taylor Welsh couldn't stop from posting it on his story. So I was like, okay, whatever. When someone who's smart shares something, you always gotta start listening to it. Knowledge. It's almost like successful people leave clues, right? Success leaves clues. It's never it's never that most people don't know what they need to do, it's just most people see things and they don't take action immediately. Right now we're going really focused on revamping half a mil and it's gonna be our focus. We're actually gonna stop uh, primarily onboarding new clients on ACB. Uh, I love how people who walk the streets are always upset when someone like in a car does something. They always think like they're right. Like, no, you're not right. Well, what color is your guy? probably create so many millionaires from it that is gonna be ridiculous because you're gonna have like literally a fractional you're gonna have con acquisition that IOS team come into your company every single week make decisions on your marketing make decisions on your sales make decisions on your systems we're actually gonna be building systems for you we're gonna be dialing in your CRM we're gonna be building search chat for you and for your team and uh, all you have to do is just pay every month and you have an access to our resources, right? My team cost me 100 grand, 150 grand, sometimes 200 grand a month. You're gonna be getting access to it for, you know, less than 1% of what it costs me every month. I mean, for me, that's a sweet deal. Pay 1%, 2% of the cost of value. I mean, anybody who doesn't value it, then they're just not a really good decision maker. So if you're a company that's doing 10, 20K, 30K a month, let's work. I think it's gonna be really sick. I'm excited about it. Like today I broke down everything and um, it's gonna be really good. Nice, nice. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. You know, getting uh, someone to, to help you buy this stuff, is that a way to buy back your time as well? Exactly. Right? Yeah, we're learning, we're learning buy back your time. Whipping the Range Rover. Range? <laughs> <laughs> oh man so um serge i was asking you like um what was your first whip uh it was a nissan altima right and there's here's the funny story right i got my first job right first time i ever drove a car was my cousin she let me drive not even drive she let me park her car right literally move it like 100 meters and i fell in love with driving after that, I was like, yo, I need my license. That's when I got my first job. If you saw one of my podcasts, I was like, hey, I went and worked in like a field <laughs> for two days. Bro, like people from directly from Mexico just trying to fucking That's feed crazy. their family, bro. I, I did that, bro. How long? For like two days. <laughs> <laughs> but I got enough money to pay for the first like lesson. So the way that here in Montreal lessons you know, work is you pay in phases, right? Mm -hmm. So I pay the phase, first phase and that's a nice Porsche. I can know. Yeah. Don't, don't, worry, don't focus on the Porsche. But I forgot which job it was. But I think it was like a, it was actually like good food. I was working. I was making like two, uh, a few thousand bucks a month. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go get a car. And I saw this coupe red leather seats Nissan Altima. Bro, I fell in love, bro. And the thing with me is that when I like something, 
I just gotta have it. Oh, this financially is not smart. Yeah, fuck that, bro. Money's made up. Mm. All you really need to do is lay a little bit of meat meal. I think it's cold hearted too. You know, three. And go crazy. And after that, play Rico Rose's Revelation. And then you're going crazy. I've been a gangster since like five, since my daddy died. 50 million on my account. Had to strategize, and when I got it out the mud, I wasn't satisfied. And Lord knows that I was sinning. But hey, real quick, before you finish watching this video, I just wanted to let you know that I have something pretty special for you. If you're currently struggling with your offer, maybe you're facing resistance within your sales calls, or you're struggling to book enough sales calls on your calendar to be able to scale past 50k to 100k a month profit, or maybe you're not really a great closer, or you're struggling to scale your fulfillment, and that's the reason why you can't scale. I'll leave the training down below where I actually broke down. On everything we did to help five agencies add an extra combined 300k a month in monthly recurring revenue in just 90 days okay i broke everything down and this is probably one of the best trainings that i've ever released if you want to check it out click the link below and get it again i'll let you enjoy your video bye is your dad birthday tomorrow right yeah 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 it actually was yesterday but yes. um tomorrow we're actually celebrating it and um yeah i bought him a really nice watch twenty thousand dollar worth of a watch wow and uh yeah but he's done a lot for me you know so I, you know we talked about i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him so yes, yes. i'll buy him the rolex before i buy one for myself you know so um, yeah we're gonna have like hundreds of people at this at this birthday party we're gonna go to church first you know thank god <laughs> and then after that we're gonna just you know sit around have fun drink family to bounce back about solving uh, problems and building stuff yeah. So, like, what problem are you solving with uh, SearchChat.ai? Uh, SearchChat.ai. So, it's a tool that um, that we're leveraging to kind of, like, solve the issue with... So, when you're a setter, you spend so much time tracking your work instead of actually doing the work. So, we were like, hey, if we can leverage a CRM to actually track all the conversations happening on all the platforms, whether that be Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and you can also leverage it to automate scraping uh, finding leads and all that good stuff then the gs or the setter spends time just doing outreach and tracking the most potent leads instead of spending time just filling up like adding a link like oh this is the prospect well let me move them let me guess and let me just scroll every day like if you've ever done outreach you know that it's always a fucking hassle to actually just scroll back and actually find who uh, you should be engaging with so with this tool since this all has the stages you can kind of like just move people at the right stages and when you're when you're about to when you wake up every day you know who you should be focusing on the first person you focus on is the person that you sent the link to you follow up with them so you can actually get them booked in and then the next thing you should be focusing on are leads that are almost about to be sent the link to so that's how like people that you're finding inefficiencies about that you're still conversating with and then you can go back to other leads and maybe you import new leads but without this crm what happens is you have to guess. You don't really know who is the most primed lead that you can talk to today and actually book a call. So it's just search chat is gonna remove the inefficiency of not being able to track things. It's just gonna make the work of a setter and a growth specialist so much easier. Hey, so just wanted to take a moment to thank you for having watched this video and to remind you of something really, really important. And that is the fact that you deserve more, you deserve better, and most importantly, you owe it to yourself to be great, okay? I want you to always remember that. Always, always, and never forget it because it is a thing that has changed my life when I realized or when I actually just made the decision that I deserved to be great and it was my duty to become great because not only did my life become better, but everyone's life in my life became better. So find this helpful and keep coming back for more bangers because I won't stop dropping them. Bye-bye.